So then, yes, we had Ray versus Seth Rollins in an eye for an eye match. They announced the only way to win is to extract your opponent's eyeball. So Seth comes out with a pair of pliers. Ray sneaks up behind him, ambushes him, which leads to Seth beating the shit out of him for a long time. They start doing spots. They're doing Irish whips, head scissors, lucha libre. Well, I mean, that's, you know, they wanted to do they wanted to do a good match. Well, maybe someone should have said, can we just do a good match and not this stupid stipulation? They both should have said that. Um, it just made the match dumb. No the shit. only way to win is to pull the eye out. What are you doing high spots for? They're, they're doing all these high spots, and the high spots uh, yeah, were yeah. good, but it was dumb. Well, it's inherently dumb. You might as well make it as good a match as you can while it's it's like they could have a shitty dumb match or they could have a good dumb match. So they had a good dumb match. I'd I'd vote for a shitty dumb match. Why bother even trying in a match that's dumb? They have too much pride. They're good work. That's why they're good workers. Because you hand them a situation where most people would have a shitty match because the rules are just ridiculous. And they decided to go out there and have a really good match. So they had a really good match in between really stupid spots revolving the eye over and over and over again. And that was the match. Well, I cannot blame the performers. This was not their stupid idea. But they went out there and they had a match that made no sense. Maybe maybe they should have just said, this is fucking stupid. They would, they would try to extract the eye, but then they would do uh, head scissors and a frog splash. And then... Seth took a kendo stick and he propped it into the corner and he tried to run Ray's eye into it. It's preposterous. Like, you gotta take out this guy's eye. That's your plan. You gotta stick a kendo stick in the corner and throw the guy at the kendo stick, which of course didn't work. And so then Ray threw him into the corner of the table, eye first, but it wasn't enough. And then later there was a broken kendo stick into Seth's eye, but that wasn't enough to extract the eye. Finally, they end up on the outside. Seth gives him the curb stomp. He drags him over to the steel steps. They literally do the exact same angle they did to start all of this. He pushes Ray's head into these steps, somehow pushing the steps into the eye. It strikes causes the eye. the eye to come out, which doesn't even make any sense. It's it's reverse gravity. <laughs> Ray grabs his eye. There's a marble there with an eyeball painted on it. He yells, I need a doctor. The trainer comes out and puts a fucking towel on his eye. Dude, if something ever happens to my eye, do not put a towel on it. And they cart him to the back, and that's the end. Seth wins, and then he's so disgusted by what he did that he barfs everywhere. Yeah. This this finish sucked. <laughs> Dude. This finish was terrible. No one but- is going to remember this as being a great match. That's my point. Like, I know you have pride, but no one is going to look back at this and say, you know what, in the Observer Awards, this was definitely a top 10 match this year. No, it's going to get votes for the worst match of the year. It won't get so why match. did you even bother? It won't even get votes for worst match of the show. Well, it will get... It will yes, get it will. Vo- it'll get some votes for worst match of the show. It wasn't the worst match of the show, though, by any means. But that 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 last match? Are you kidding? That well, last, that I last thought video? The last, I thought the Bray Wyatt thing, which we'll get to, was absolutely appalling. But terrible. I did hear from people like the Firefly Funhouse and Mania, that thought it was so creative and it was so great. So I'm sure I, those people had to pick a worse match on the show, and it'll probably be this one. Or maybe uh, it won't. Maybe it'll be like a great wrestling match because they don't know what they're talking about. This one I have not seen. This one got less praise that from what I've seen than, than the Randy Orton Edge match that, it, that almost everybody thought was the worst match at Mania. Um, Edge is probably thrilled then. He no longer has the worst match of the year in WWE. Well, I didn't say that that it was not going to win worst match of the year. Um, although the worst match of the weekend, you know what? Well, it's it's hard because it's, it's not really the women's a match. gauntlet was was one hundred thousand times worse than Edge and Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, for sure because because that was that was, you know but but this was this was a different kind of terrible. The women's gauntlet match did in no it was a bad match and then it ended. In no way when that show was over did I think it was a bad show because of that match. I thought that it was a bad match on the show. Whereas the um, Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, when it was over, I thought this is a bad show because of that match. I guess because it was on last. 
That's what um, happens. I mean, like my final, you know, your final thing is, is this really freaking sucks. So that was like my closing thing, even though uh, I thought Seth and Ray did a good job. I thought that um, um, Asuka and uh, Sasha was great, but the finish sucked. Well, before we get to that, to make sure that you, the viewer, know how stupid all of this is, they interview Bailey and she says, oh, I was a huge fan of Ray growing up. He was one of my favorites. And I know that Ray has a long road ahead, but I just want you to know, Ray, that you're not seeing double. I really do have two belts still. And she laughs and celebrates as Ray has no eye. Introduces Sasha. They celebrate. You know, Sasha's some people some champion. people like that, but it's like all that does is, is who make, likes that. I've heard people say, "What a great promo Bailey did," and I thought, oh, it's come like, on. I thought from a context standpoint that promo sucked. Stupid. I mean, the delivery was the delivery was good if it was like a minor injury, but you know, come on, on that it's like it's just so the, the context is so bad, and then. They just go on with the show like nothing's happening, although they did do a medical update to make sure that you know that he still may sign with the company, because um, that's the reason they did that update. So there you go. 